Hi, and welcome to the book bar where everything bookish is on the menu. I'm Ann Jeanette Barr, and I wanted to show you the new app that I've been using to sell some of my books, um, show you how it works, and tell you um, all about how much fun it has been to both buy and sell using Pango Books. So I'm going to have some tea while we talk. I have this kind of bright light on me because I'm going to show you how I actually add books to the um, the app, and I usually put a light right on on it, so it's a little bit weird for a recording, but um, yeah, it's fine, right? Okay, so I'm going to have some. Here we go, Heritage Tea. Is what it's called? Tea Heritage, rooibos and pear and almond. Okay, you guys have to see how cute these are. This is my last one. Kind of sad i need to track down more of them it's a dress got that cute little tag it's the cutest thing ever and it smells so good oh my goodness i need to see what else they have because actually i don't know anything about this company i've never seen tea bags in the shape of a dress and this was a gift i need to try and track them down my daughter liked them so much that she um stole most of them so <laughs> I haven't gotten to try very many. Um, we're going to let her steep while I tell you about this new app. So, um, uh, as the title says, I have been majorly unhauling. I realized that because of COVID, I mean, not that it's like COVID's sentient and it's his fault, but um, I purchased too many books. I know a lot of us did some comfort buying over the last few years, and I have done a lot of comfort buying. Um, a lot of it was for my kids, and but a lot of it was for myself, and in any case, our house is just stuffed full of books, and so I have donated a lot, like 75 books, um, to either our homeschool um, office for the, the books that were appropriate for that, or our friends at the library bookstore, and I put a bunch in Little Free Libraries. Um, so, donated a lot, but now I'm down to kind of books that either don't fit in the homeschooling niche um, or I paid good money for them and I'd kind of like to get a little bit of it back. And uh, a friend told me about this new app, Pango Books. I think they just saw it on an advertisement. They asked me about it and I decided to give it a try. And I've been using it now for several months. I've actually sold 10 books on there and I have purchased about the same. So what does that mean? It means that I <laughs> have new books. I have new books. Um, and uh, uh, so I wanted to go over it so that I can give you now a good overview of how it works. Um, it kind of reminds me of, I'm aging, dating myself here, back in the day when I used to be able to buy and sell on half.com, which is an eBay company. And there aren't many options like that anymore. I've seen some people do like Instagram shops where they they, they sell a particular kind of book, usually like um, classics or, um, you know, they, they always have kind of an aesthetic, right? But one of the things I really like about this app is that you don't have to brand your store necessarily. You can for sure, and there's some benefits, but you could just literally upload the books that you have that you don't want to read anymore, that you need out of your house, sell them and buy new ones. And it can be like, not at all a business, like just a way to get rid of some books. So that's really nice. What I was looking, what I was looking for. I don't need another thing to kind of manage. Right. But, um, also it's very easy, um, like fast and streamlined. So I'm just going to show you actually how I do, how I upload to Pango books. Um, I think it'll be like, as shocked as I was to see just how simple this is. So on my account, I have a store and you can see all of the, um, all the books that I have listed, uh, at the top. I can also see what I have sold and how much I have earned and to pull your earnings out. 
um, you can do that via PayPal or um, a check, I think. Let's see, PayPal or, or direct deposit. And you have a little bit of a waiting time, but it's really not bad. There's not like a minimum that you have to wait for or wait until you make $100 or something like that. Um, and so uh, I'm just going to walk you through. I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to walk you through how I actually um, would list a book and talk a little bit more about it as I go. Okay, so let's say that I am ready to get rid of Marley and Me, such a sweet book, and I would like to list this. So um, it's super, super easy. I've just used this bandana as a backdrop. You don't have to use any particular backdrop. Um, I'll show you just how simple it is. So you click the sale, the sell button, you center your picture, and make sure you can see this in my camera. Nope, all right. There we go, now you can see it. So you center it in your camera and you hit the button and it gives you your picture. You say if you want to accept or not. I do want to accept. And then it tells you to scan the barcode. So I scan the barcode, it's searching for it, it asks me if it's the right one, I say it is, and all of a sudden it's all filled in for me. So it has my even in this one, because it's a popular enough book, um, it has the type of book, like nonfiction about pets, and it has how heavy it is. Um, sometimes, if I don't know how heavy a book is, because that affects the shipping, I have a, a little kitchen um, scale here. I will weigh it, and it's exactly one pound, and I know that I am... Um, going to increase the weight a little bit with the packaging so even though this is listed as a light hardcover i'm actually going to change it to a regular hardcover one to two pounds so they don't get in trouble for shipping so you can modify things you can you can just trust the settings um and then there's other things that you can add okay back to being a little dark so that i can talk to you um once you have um, added the basic information, you select your condition. So like for this Marley and Me copy, let's see if I can get this in the light here. I've got some um, scratches on the dust jacket, but the dust jacket is there. Um, there are some stains on the, on the outside, um, but there's no markings on the inside. And so I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna say um, my condition options are new, like new, excellent, good, fair, or poor. So I'm gonna say good, and then I'm gonna make a note that there are that there's some staining on the outside edges. Um, but that lets people know, like someone wouldn't want to buy this if they were gonna give it as a gift, right? But there's no, there's nothing about it that's gonna make it uncomfortable for reading. Um, and so then you you add in some hashtags and you hit list, and that's it. And then what happens is um, it's all always shipped media mail and so uh, how much it costs to ship is um, figured out for you and that makes it really easy for labeling because they know they already know the company knows who's buying it where it's going to and how much it weighs and so you just get to print out a shipping label from home. I print mine on paper. I don't even print it on a um, a sticker and I just tape it to the outside of an envelope and off it goes and I don't even have to wait in line at the post office I can just um, I can just stick it in the post office box or like sometimes I will if I have other things to mail I'll mail it alongside so that it's on my receipt with my other things but I don't have to pay anything additionally because the sender the I'm sorry the buyer pays the shipping you can uh, set on your shop um, something like uh, if they buy more than $20 from your shop or whatever your your threshold that you want is, then they get free shipping. But otherwise, it expects that you will be, um, that they'll be paying for shipping and you'll just be sending it uh, and then taking most of the, the profit. So I'm going to leave a link, of course, to my shop and to Pingo Books um, website so that you can read all the details um, about how much they take and 
uh, how it works. But um, I wanted to talk about from the buying side of it as well. I've purchased many books there already. Super easy. Everything has come in great condition. The sellers seem to all really care about making sure you get what you what you purchased, you know. And um, because it's not like a generic listing, you can really see the conditions are really like that as opposed to buying on thrift books or um, Better World Books, even though I love buying on there, you can actually see the actual copy. So that's really helpful. Everyone's super nice and, and people have been communicative like, oh, I said I, sh I sent it, but I actually didn't send it till this morning. I hope, you know, hope you don't have to wait any longer. Or um, I noticed you bought, you know, these three books. Do you want to bundle them together? Things like that have been really good. And then Pango Books actually sends out coupons every once in a while once you're signed up. Uh, so I've gotten like two in these last few months, um, $5 off coupon codes. Um, it's, it's great. So I highly recommend it and I hope that you check it out. And if you have any questions, since this was a very brief overview, um, put them in the comments. Um, but yeah, I do hope that you just give it a try. And I have now listed about 90 books <laughs> and, um, you should check out my, um, my listings. If you're in the mood for kind of a special book date treat as well, because um, right now and then in the future, when I have a book that I really liked and I really think that it would be a good fit for you guys who watch my YouTube channel, I'm going to list it as a special deal along with some other things like my favorite drinks and maybe some other little gifts. And then I can't use media mail, so it'll be free shipping and I'll take care of the shipping myself. And I've seen a lot of people on there do special things like that. So it is becoming something where it's, you know, easy to just find the book you're looking for that you want to read, but there are also some shops that have some extras. So I hope you'll enjoy that. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you um, enjoy Pingo books. Have a great day.